services were held today for Cecil Mills, a man who died after suffering a heart attack near a DC fire station. His family says firefighters and EMTs did nothing to help him. And now an investigation is underway into exactly what happened. Hatsavela is in Northwest with what Mills's relatives and city leaders are saying tonight. Hatsil. Kenda, several hundred people were here. The lines wrapped around the block from folks who wanted to get inside the church. The program, several pages long, everybody trying to pay their respects. Already a busy street, 16th Street and Newton became tied up. Everyone trying to get inside Cannon Baptist Church. A home going for Cecil Mills Jr. He helped people to the day he died. He was good to all of us. Always. April Mitchell, one of hundreds at Mills Funeral. The church, which holds about 600, was packed. People had to wait in line to see the man many called a friend. 55 years I was in the wedding. Inside, John Cruz talked to Mills' wife. They shared memories of when she and Mills married. A childhood friend says it's still tough to think about what happened. Two weeks ago, 77-year-old Mills collapsed from a heart attack, but wasn't able to get help even though he was across the street from a fire station. I can't find any reason or excuse for what happened. Cruz calls it inexcusable. He hopes some changes take place. Mayor Vincent Gray says he was there to comfort the family. You do the best you can. But even after the funeral, Gray would not talk about the dark clouds looming over his fire department. Clearly what we heard, what we've heard so far, sounds unacceptable. D.C. Council Chair Phil Mendelson admits the public duty doctrine is archaic, but he says it works. The doctrine says the city cannot be held liable for the injuries of a citizen because its workers are not doing their job right. City Council Member Vincent Orange also addressing the fire department and its leadership. You have this incident, you have other incidents, and at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself whether or not we have the right leadership in place. Back inside the church, a celebration of the life of the 77-year-old man, son of the pastor of this very same holy place, a city worker, a father, many say a good man. Certainly the conversation, Candace, over the public duty doctrine will continue. There will be a hearing on February 24th at City Council. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Hatzelvella, ABC 7 News.